Hey guys and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about my personal opinion on the film Barbie's Joshi Superhero. Now, whatever I say now onwards, uh, it's gonna contain spoilers. So if you don't want to know what happens, please step out of the video. Uh, you have been warned. Now, this movie didn't perform that well financially, but that's on marketing, not story. We follow the journey of two friends believing in a cause and we're very similar, but the hard reality hits them that's when the similarities start to separate. Sikandar Khanna played brilliantly by the underrated Harshvardhan Kapoor, our protagonist, gives up on his ways and becomes a corporate slave. On the other hand, his best friend Bhavesh Joshi stays the same adamant man firmly standing by his beliefs of a corruption-free India as it hurts him to watch the country he loves rot into corruption and chaos. He unfairly gets beaten and harassed as Sikandar uploads a video on Insaf TV, their YouTube channel. Some of the engaging moments of the film are the banters and character interactions. No, listen. For one minute, they cross the tracks for one minute. The car is stopped and then... Stop, 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 stop. What happened? Stop, stop. What happened? Stop, stop. What happened? Stop, stop. 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 When Sikandar throws this device out and sees it shattered after, it indicates Sikandar's and Bhavesh's shattered relationship. Absolutely brilliant. After Bhavesh's harassment, we see his strong-willed determination to keep fighting. But his untimely death triggers Sikandar's inner rebel and how he's had enough of the Indian system where greed people ask for bribe to get the job done. And so Sikandar becomes the awesome looking vigilante and names himself after his friend, Bhavesh friggin Joshi. Vikramaditya Motwani's direction is so beautiful and feels so grim. He uses dark blue color palettes to show mystery and fear, which is genius. Honestly, the tone remains consistent and reminds me of Netflix's Daredevil. The action scenes are also compelling and keeps the audience on the edge of the seats. One minute issue I had with this film is the not so compelling villain. I'm not saying he needs to have powers or should know fighting, but he's barely given enough screen time for us to understand the character. All the actors did a great job and the script was well written. Beautiful cinematography and engaging music kept us viewers interested. Amazing film, I would rate it 4 out of 5. Now I know you must have heard this a lot, but like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get notified.